Hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Morris, and I want to talk to you about our new unit, which is Ancient Greece. Our first platform test, or PLT test, is going to be on Athenian democracy. And I want to take a couple moments to walk you through um, some of the resources here that I think are really important that you should pay some, uh, some attention to and take some time with. The first one is Quizlet. And I put a yes by it to remind you that this is a very important piece. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As you've done with my other Quizlets, it has terms that you're going to be finding throughout your reading and terms that you're going to be finding throughout your test as well. So I would test on these to see how well you understand it, and then I would uh, definitely study them and use it in your learning. The next thing I want to take a look at is this next one called Reading Ancient Greek Government. This is a lot of information. Now, I'm not saying it's bad information. But it's a lot of scattered information. Um, I think the words are, are a little high and above what I would uh, assign. But I'm not going to tell you not to read through it. And I'm definitely not going to tell you not to uh, take some time in going over it. But I wouldn't spend a lot of time taking notes on it. I, I don't think there's enough in here to warrant spending a lot of time doing notes on this. But then I get to this next piece, which is the slideshow. And I love, love, love this slideshow. I did not make this. Somebody else made this. But everything in it is great information. The four different types of governments, the evolution of uh, Athenian government system through the ar archaic period up into the classical period. Definitely take your time. Take notes on this. Take great notes on this. Definitely learn about Cleisthenes because he's a very important person in this uh, section. The next thing I want to take a look at is this worksheet. The worksheet is pretty good. Um, if you guys want to read through it and try and answer the questions on your own in your notebook, um, it's pretty basic. You just read this up here, then you go down here and you try and answer the questions and do it in your notebook. I don't see any harm in it. It does nothing but reinforce the information that you're going to be finding on Athenian democracy and governments. Check for understanding is always strong. Um, I wouldn't take notes on it, but I would go through it just to see what you do know. Move down to our next objective, which is explaining how democracy unfolded and evolved in ancient Athens. The first thing I see here is this worksheet. I love this. Uh, I did not invent it, but I wish I had. Um, I would definitely read this, and I would put this in your notebook, and I would try and answer the questions because this will help you in a major way on this objective in answering questions. Uh, again, this is a worksheet called Direct Democracy in Ancient Athens. And it's a very important that you know what direct democracy was and is. The next one is the reading piece uh, about uh, Athenian democracy. Uh, in doing this, uh, it's, it's, it's good. I, I kind of go back to what I said earlier about the other objective resource. A lot of information, a lot of words that I think will be tricky for most of us. I'm certainly not going to tell you not to read it. Um, I would go through it, but I would take my time in doing so and making sure I understood what I was reading. Um, but I'm not going to tell you not to take notes on it. But if you want to take time to go through it, go right ahead. Um, I, I think there are some good parts on it. This video right here, uh, which is the Athenian democracy. Again, Khan Academy, can't go wrong. Love, love, love this video. Um, take notes on it. Take your time, go through it, and take notes on it so that you can better understand, um, I think, through a great video on democracy in ancient Athens. Check for understanding. Um, I think it's kind of cool to go through. I don't know if it's too noteworthy. As you can tell, I put yes by the noteworthy sources. And once again, I think this is a good one. Kind of some tough words, but take your time with it. But I would take notes on that one. And finally, let's get to our last objective, which is understanding the differences between direct and representative democracy. Um, I put a big yes right here because this first part here on this reading is from Duxters. And you know how I feel about Duxters. I love Duxters. I think it gives you the straight information without screwing around too much. Um, if you want it read to you, you can click on this and it reads it to you. I mean, how much better can it get? Definitely something to take notes on. Definitely understanding the difference between direct and representative democracy. And then finally, this one here on reading about democracy. Um, hmm, interesting. It says there's a problem with loading this on my end. 
Uh, I just had it up a second ago. Let me see what I can do when I click on it. Will it load for me? Fingers crossed. Hmm. Nope. Some sort of login required. Um, it will come up. Uh, go ahead and click on it and do read about it. I think it's a, a, a good source, especially the part on classical Greece. Uh, so either way, take your time on it. I think these are good things. There's a check for understanding. Uh, good thing to read through, but I wouldn't spend a lot of time taking notes on it. Once again, I have yeses by the things that I think are important, but definitely understand what it is you're doing. Okay, your objective lays out really well what it is you have to know. Understand the transition of the various governments in Greece that led to democracy. Understand how democracy unfolded and evolved in Athens. And of course, the difference between direct and representative democracy. Well, I hope, I hope this helps. I always enjoy spending time with you guys. Uh, good luck. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know. You will need to have a blue sheet filled out with these things on it. There's one, there's two for the first objective, one, two, three for the second objective, and one, two for the third objective that I'm requiring you to have. And of course, you need to have your notes. You need to show your teacher your notes. You cannot just go up and say, here is my Quizlet, I'm done. The rest of the note taking is uh, required as well. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.